Hello and welcome to the Genesis Edge product line video series. My name is Charles Johnson, the lead trainer and technical engineer at LinkSpring. And today we're going to talk about the Genesis Edge portfolio itself. This is the first video in a series of videos to talk about uh, not only what the Genesis Edge product is, but we're gonna be setting up a controller along with various types of integration up to uh, an edge supervisor with VAVs at the end. So let's show you the Genesis Edge enabled portfolio. It contains a 534 with a 4G LTE and a Monic controller flavors. It contains a Genesis Edge 514, a 414, and a Genesis Edge VAV. It also has the XM34 IO modules, which come in the straight Onyx network or BACnet flavors. Now, let's talk about what the Genesis Edge product line is. Well, it is an end-to-end -end Niagara product line that features a fully programmable Niagara controller. The commissioning process is the exact same way as a Jenny or a PC8000, so there's no need to do any additional steps. It also accepts Modbus, BACnet, Fox protocols, Web, and OBIX. It also runs on Linux and it's not Unix-based. Now let's talk about what it isn't. And what it isn't is that it isn't a Jenny or a PC8000. Because this is a Niagara controller, it doesn't have uh, the capacity like it would be a Jace. So therefore that when you engineer these, please make sure that you take that into consideration or else that you could do more harm than good. The Genesis Edge product line is a great, uh, to me is a great product for uh, mid-sized facilities. Uh, it can handle medium to large air handlers, chill water plants, hot water plants, et cetera, and even VAVs. So we can even go to even the terminal unit uh, level as well. Now let's talk about the Genesis Edge 534. So this contains 34 points of IO uh, on board and uh, has the ability for the expandable IO options. So we're gonna be using the XM34 IO uh, to connect to this to make uh, a very large controller. It also contains the full Niagara stack and an open NIC, which means that you can use any flavor of workbench that you'd like as long as the uh, edge files match that specific version. So right now, currently we have uh, four, uh, four, seven, uh, four, uh, four, nine, U1, uh, four, 10, U4, four, 10, U4, 411U2. Uh, if you use anything like 412, uh, it's not really compatible with that. So please make sure that you have the correct workbench installed and you can find all that information available uh, on our resource website at resources.linkspring.com. Now, as I said, we have the 534 with Monit and this is actually the wireless IP controller. So Monit actually has a bunch of wireless sensors uh, and you can see here at the bottom what sensors we currently support. Uh, the Monit sensors are easy to set up and they're low cost, low power, and they also accept uh, global RF uh, frequencies such as 900, 868, and 433. Should you want a 534 with a, uh, with a, uh, a modem on there, we have the Genesis Edge 534 4G LTE. So this is packaged with a uh, built-in Verizon uh, cellular modem. Uh, which allows uh, remote uh, access when there isn't one available. It still contains the same 34 IO and it's expandable through the extender modules. It also contains the full Niagara stack uh, and it's a fully programmable Niagara controller. And it uses a secured VPN connection. So therefore you don't have to worry about anyone accessing it without the proper VPN information. Next you have the Genesis Edge 514 IP controller which contains 14 points of IO on board, uh, and it can be uh, expanded uh, using the XM IO, which uh, resides on the Onyx network. With this, uh, even though the 414, which I'll be showing in a moment, uh, has the same uh, point count, uh, it actually, uh, this actually has, um, uh, this actually can be licensed for an additional eight uh, extender modules at 34 points IO each. Now we have the Genesis Edge 414, which contains uh, 14 points uh, of IO on board. 
and it's ideal for terminal uh, equipment control that requires minimal integration. So because this has a fixed license of 50 points and three devices, the 414 has a lifetime SMA included with the license, which means that for as long as you have the controller, we can continue to upgrade this controller to the latest version of Niagara without any additional cost. Now let's talk about the Genesis Edge VAV IP controller. So this is a fully programmable VAV controller with 14 IO points and with an additional input point of a pressure transducer that's built in. It still uses the Fox protocol and works the same way uh, as a Niagara controller would. Uh, it contains six UIs, four DOs, and four AOs. And much like the 414, uh, this is uh, a, uh, it actually has a fixed uh, license of three devices and 50 points. So it has a uh, lifetime SMA. It also supports 25 daisy chain controllers on the spanning tree protocol, not rapid spanning tree, but the regular spanning tree. You can daisy chain up to five without the spanning tree protocol. So that's why we recommend you using it. Now, of course, all these controllers reside on the Niagara IP architecture and they all talk using the Frox protocol. So this is what we call a flat architecture system. So you can see that we have a supervisor, uh, lighting controls, uh, primary equipment, uh, any kind of plant control. We have some wireless devices. All these can talk on the same Fox network. Now let's talk about Onyx for a moment. And let's talk about the Onyx XM34IO extender module. So you can add this to uh, an Edge 534, 514, or 414. With a 534, you can add a, uh, additional eight extender modules for a maximum of 306 points. That's fairly massive. Uh, definitely uh, the largest chill water plant I think ever done was uh, that I've done uh, was I believe 303 points. So uh, this uh, actually can reach the maximum. This contains 10 digital outputs, which are relay outputs, eight analog outputs and 16 universal inputs. You can also wire it via 24 uh, VAC or DC. Now, uh, and it also resides on the Onyx network. So if we look at the XM modules as a whole, with the 514, you can do 306 points. With a 514, you can do 286 IO points. And with a 414, you can do 50 points total. Still three devices, but 50 points. And a maximum network length of 30 feet. Should you want to use the BACnet version, we have one that is available through BACnet MSTP. And again, it's the same 34 uh, points of 10 digital outputs, eight analog outputs, 16 universal inputs. It also has one RS-45 port and one USB port. And again, you can wire it via 24 VAC or VDC. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me uh, on this journey and I cannot wait to talk to you soon.